Hi there, it's Nailan, and today let's look at just how to create this segmented comb that you have seen at the intro of this video. So you want to go to the design tab on the info box. So when you scroll down, you will meet the comb tool. So double click that and this dialog box will come. And now you can click on the segment tab. You can see we have this single segment and the multi-segment, which is what we are interested in. So click that. And now we need to add three more segments because currently we have just one. So let's add one, two, three, and that is it. The topmost segment is going to be a timber post. We need it to be a rectangular kind of shape and we can decrease just how thick it is. I used 200, you can put the thickness that you like. We can also change the material of it. Let's use timber structural. It's going to be a structural post. And if you so wish, you can override these surfaces to make them the wood that you want. And now I'm going to make them wood pine horizontal. And the second segment is going to be a steel plate onto which this timber post is going to sit. So find steel. And I think I like the size of it. And you can fix its length. So before we had this percentage length and now we can put in the actual length that we need so i think 15 will work for the thickness of this metal next is you could override this uh, surface and then i think i like metal zinc you can choose any other so just after that we have this next segment which is going to be a coping onto which this metal plate is going to be sitting or bolting so let's make it a concrete coping for now and we can make it a little bit bigger which is 350 in my case and just like before we can fix its length and make it about 100 height and then we can as well override its surfaces to make them a certain concrete maybe or two will work and finally you have this final segment which we can make to be it's going to be a concrete core so let's make this a concrete core but then we need it to be of a fixed length which is going to be about 450 or 400 well but we need it to be thinner in my case 200 and we can clad it with stone so you can check that cladding and then also make it about 50 thickness yeah it's showing correctly right there and then we can make this to be a stone material stone structural and let's just override it to make it represent correctly as a stone material and that is it so let's look at what we have done in 3d so say okay and click somewhere to place it so in 3d you can see when we do open we have something going on here which is pretty good so you can see this uh, timber post and we see a metal plate that is bolting onto this concrete coping and then we have the structure that is cladded with stone so in case we wanted to adjust the height thereof let's make a copy to show what i'm talking about you could click onto this point and the pet palette will come up and then you will choose this uh, first option here to increase the height thereof and the beauty is that when you do that the rest of the things have been fixed and they will not move they will be the size that you dictated so that is all that i wanted to show you in this video hit the like button and subscribe below and i will see you in the next one bye